Hi, this is Brent, N9BC, and you ever wonder how to get your RTL SDR dongle to work with CW Skimmer or ever wanted to? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set that up in HD SDR, and uh, it's pretty easy, so stay tuned and we'll get you going. Okay, well, there's going to be a few programs that we need to get installed before we can uh, get everything all set up, so uh, open up your browsers, and uh, first thing you want to do is go to rtl-sdr.com and you want to go to the quick start guide and from here uh, we want to look for the uh, HD SDR section there we go and basically what you want to do is just follow this um, these, these instructions here and uh, it should only take you a couple of minutes there it's pretty well documented not going to bore you with going through each individual step um, it's pretty self-explanatory um, but if you do have any problems just uh, shoot me a message and I'll see what I can do to, to help you up and help you out and uh, get you going but uh, it's pretty easy um, uh, for the most part so uh, just go through this, this setup here and uh, get you, get that part of it installed the drivers and whatnot so there we go. Once we do that, we'll move on to the uh, the next piece of software. Okay, now that you got your HD SDR uh, packages downloaded, uh, the next thing that we want to grab is the virtual audio cable uh, program. Um, just do a Google search, or actually, I'll put all the links uh, in the bottom uh, in the co uh, not the comments, the uh, description and the video, and uh, I'll just put all those direct links where you can get these these apps. Uh, but you want to install this. And uh, lastly, um, you're going to want to uh, grab the Virtual Serial Port Manager by uh, K5FR. And uh, what you have to do for him, uh, he doesn't have a direct download off any web pages, um, but if you do send him an email, uh, he'll send you uh, a link as long as you're uh, ham and you got your call. And uh, he'll send you a download link uh, that you can grab it from and uh, use it for free. So that's pretty sweet of him to do that. So. I suggest uh, you go ahead and do that ahead of time because it might take a day or two for him to get back to you. Okay, now that you got your VSP manager from uh, K5FR, uh, you want to go ahead and run it as administrator. And you'll see your physical comp ports if you have any in your system. It'll show up here. And for me, I, I actually removed uh, the virtual ports that I had set up previously, so we'll just go ahead and create those. Um, what I do is uh, I just select like 10 and 11 because I know those aren't going to be any physical ports typically. Um, so I usually go 10 and 11, create pair, and boom, it's created. All you got to do, click close, and that's it. Um, it'll remember that from now on. And now let's uh, move on to the uh, the virtual, uh, virtual audio cables. And uh, this is pretty, pretty simple as well. Um, go up here, click two cables if it's not already set, click it. Um, these are the settings that I've uh, got set up on mine, and it's uh, I haven't had any issues with them, um, with these at all, with decoding, with uh, any of the programs I've used so far. So um, I don't remember if this is the, the stock settings, but I'm pretty sure they are. Um, but uh, once you get these all set up, uh, click exit, and those are saved as well. Now the uh, the fun part's coming. Let's go ahead and uh, open up uh, HD SDR, and we're going to go through some of the settings here. Um, sound card. Um, you want to pick line two of the virtual audio cable for the RX input, and for the RX output is line one, and that's the line that's going to be used for any of the digital programs that you plan on using like uh, CW Skimmer or uh, say uh, WSJT or uh, PSK for that matter, any of those programs. You wanna make sure those are all set like that. Um, bandwidth for my my uh, RTL SDR is, uh, I select 4800 and uh, there we go. And now the options, uh, select input. Uh, we wanna go ahead and pick that and make sure that's actually in there uh, then the output we by default it's the uh, AF to both channels what we want to do is make sure it's IF uh, there and miscellaneous <clears throat> there's really not much we change there from default 
or this, uh, I mean, these are the mouse uh, front end calibration. We can go through that later. Um, and we'll come back to that, I should say. And the cat. Uh, let me go ahead and disable that so I can just show you some of the settings here. Uh, the port. See, this is uh, port 10 on the virtual serial port that we created. We want to make sure that's selected. Baud rate 9600. Uh, since we're, there's no PTT on this, so we're going to do cat only. And you want to make sure it's activated. Um, once that's set, uh, we are we are golden. Um, uh, one thing we do have to do check though is the EXT IO. Uh, we want to make sure that the RTL dongle is set up there, and we absolutely have to make sure that the Q input is selected, and the sample rate uh, is whatever you have uh, for your particular one. Mine is 2.4, and uh, for me, uh, the frequency calibration was off. A fair amount, so around mine's uh, 99 ppm, so parts per million. Uh, it, it's going to be different for all of yours. Uh, and a different dongle that was only like 49 or 41 or something like that. Uh, but the particular one that I have today is uh, 99, so um, I usually keep these checked. Uh, there's some guys that uh, manually change the, the AGC gain by them manually so if you want to do that go ahead but I know this works for me so that's what I go with um, and we can go ahead and uh, click start and uh, there we go not a whole lot going on right now let me uh, turn the antenna on and not uh, not a whole lot so far um, you can see a little bit in there I get a lot of garbage going on here, but uh, actually, I got a recorded uh, uh, wave file that was previously recorded, so we'll go ahead and use that as our our, our sample. Uh, let's see here. We want to go to uh, stop. I'm gonna loop it, and there it is. There we go. Nice clean signals. <laughs> It'll produce that uh, nicely for us here. Okay, that's working. Now we want to bring up, uh, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> CW skimmer. There we go. First thing I'm going to do is go into settings, make sure it's Softrock IF, um, pick your, your favorite Hertz. <laughs> I like to go with uh, 800. Uh, you want to make sure that this is 48, whatever your sampling rate is. Uh, typically, I think that's what they all are. And then uh, audio. So here we got our signal I.O. device is line one. And we can actually dump the audio out to your speakers if you choose to do that. Um, but if you're running this as a uh, skimmer server, you won't even, you'll just, you know, not even connect it up to anything. Okay, the cat. Uh, it's actually going to be, we're going to, Select it as a Kenwood radio, and here's the other end of that serial cable. It's going to be a uh, Comport 11 for me, 9600, 8 none and 1, and uh, you can use those settings as well. Uh, click OK, click OK, and we can go ahead and fire this up. And as you can see, we actually are getting the uh, band uh, frequency radio or frequency from the radio through the uh, the CAD interface. And as you can see, we're starting to decode lots of stations um, up and down the band a little bit from that pre-recorded pre -recorded file. And say you wanted to work uh, this guy here, all you do is double click and it changes the frequency for you. It moves the frequency as well. So there you have it. Uh, this is N9BC, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and hope you have some fun playing with uh, CW Skimmer and uh, your little RTL cheapo dongo. So, 73, and have fun.